Backbird. I'm going to do the steps to get into Pancake Backbird. Grabbing the ankles, leaning back. And the straight straddle. Nice finger. That's the right foot. One, two, five. Remember, swing. One, two, swing. Uh, good strength there. Able to save it. Pencil feet. Hips forward. You know where you're going. Point B, okay? Pushing through the arms. One, two, push. Yes. Okay. Hands. We're going to go back to back bird. Okay, hips. Put this arm through. Right to back bird. Swing legs back and stab me. There it is. Beautiful. Straight straddle. Couples in. There we go. Again, straight straddle. Engage core. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. Good stuff. Pencil feet. Hips forward. Arms, arms, arms. One, two, push. Yes. Hands. Okay, getting onto this hip. Through. Right to back fly. That's how you do it. Straight straddle. We'll lift it up just slightly, the legs, so just less on your back. Okay, right there. One, two, swing. All right, one, two, swing. That's it. Pencil feet. Hips forward. Watch me. I don't pop you from here. I start guiding you back a little. It starts to feel like you're about to fall. And the moment you do, then I pop. That way your body naturally falls in like one, two. And pop. That's it. And when I catch you, Beautiful, nice pose. Can you give me your hands again? So when I catch you, oftentimes bases will catch you too high here. What that does is it makes your legs drop. Mm -hmm. So as a base, if the lower I can catch you on your legs, the easier it will be for you to keep your legs up. So that's one thing to keep in mind. All right, one more demo. All right. Back bird, and then we'll do the whole thing. Back bird, grabbing the ankle. Up. Straight straddle. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. Good, I yes. I swung too early, I felt that. Yeah, a little slight, right? Yep. Even so, at the same time even so, the over swing is the safest swing. That's the best possible outcome there. Perfect. and easy. Pencil feet. Four. One, two, push. Nice. Good. Okay. Here we go. Over. Back one. Okay. So now, how do we go from here all the way through the other <laughs> position? That's just insane, right? Yes. How the heck are we doing this? Let's bring you down for a second. How are you thinking about going from here, popping all the way over and landing here without killing yourself? So what I do, um, it's gonna be the exact same feeling that we just did, but all in one fluid motion, right? Uh, what makes this possible for me is that when you're swinging over, you've gotta push through your arms like your life depends on it. Because the more you push, the more time I'll be able to bring my feet from underneath you onto the other side. Um, but the fall will likely be the same. It will either be um, straight up and down on your head if you don't swing enough, or it will likely, most likely, it will be up over. I'll catch you on the hips a little too high, and then you'll land on your feet over on this side, more than likely. Um, so what can you do to help me? One, two, swing, push. So right now you're in this straddle here. I'm asking you to swing over. And then when you end up, one, two, swing. It'll be over onto this side. I'll, I'll catch you here. You gotta push off the arms here. Go like that. So one thing that I can do as a base is when I, um, when I pop you off, I've got, I think, a huge pop. And because I'm popping you even higher than before, You've got to engage that core like your life depends on it because it may hurt your back. Engage that core, one, two, engage, swing, 
We're going to pop really high over, push through the arms. The main key for this, for between you and me today, is to push through the arms. Push through the arms the whole time. So one thing that you can do before we do this, as a flyer, is practice doing what's called the worm in hip hop dance, right? So you're here, you're going to lean over, hips forward, and up into a upward dog. And then eventually, once you start feeling comfortable, I want you to be able to kind of hop onto it and then get the feeling what it's like to absorb some of your weight. I mean, lots of dogs. So I don't recommend any flyer doing this um, on a new base at all. Uh, and it's very hard to um, do successfully. But one thing that you can do as a flyer to improve your chances is to learn how to do this, of course, up strong. And then once you can master it from a standing position, you can likely do this on any base. If you're able to, to stand, jump onto your hands, and then absorb your weight, and then swim into it like that. Um, to be able to absorb some of that, because that's how much pressure will be put onto your arms. Um, so unless you can do that like super comfortably as a flyer, don't try this on a new base uh, without a spotter. So let's do one more upward dog to ski so you get the, the motion of it and then we'll go and demo the pop. Okay. And one thing bases can do to improve the pops is just learn how to jump. Down, press up. Jump and point your toes up to the ground. Basis for bases. For bases to do that. Because that's what they're doing with their legs. Popping big. Okay, here we go. Push through the arms. That is the key. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. Okay. fly. Wanna walk it one more time? Two pops and then the whole pop. Okay. Straight straddle. Oh, we're done. One, two, swing. Beautiful. Feet together. Push forward. One, two, push. Yes. Good stuff. Okay. One more walk and then the pockets. Straight straddle. One, two, swing. Push forward. One. Two, push. Yes. Good job, keep your legs up. Okay, so it'll feel like that, but a little more jar. It'll feel boom. <laughs> boom. Okay, there we go. Hands. There it is, Kirsten. You got it. With confidence. This, you have to commit all the way through. You have to be a place where you feel ready. Okay? Visualize exactly where we're going. Push through the arms. I will keep you safe. Straight straddle, lift the legs a little, engage, all the way through this way. Okay? Push through the arm. I'll say one, two, swing, okay? One, two, swing. Yes. Beautiful. Again, visualize it. You're right there, point B. You know where you're going. Visualize it. Engage your hips, engage your core. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. Bam. One more. A little ah, more push. Awesome. Gotta push through those arms. Okay. It'll give you more time, okay? One, two, push. Engage four. One, two, push. Down. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> I felt like I really pushed. Yes. <laughs> so that's beautiful. You okay? Yeah, I'm great. Let's celebrate first that you're safe. Yes. And you, can, you know that exactly how bad it could get really fast, right? Yeah. I learned from that sequence that the swing is more important than the push. So yes, I want you to push. That's the primary thing or the important thing. But even before the push is that swing. Okay. Because even if you're pushing before the swing, um, there's not that momentum right. that's created yet. So the, we need the momentum coming over okay. with the push to create that motion. Okay. I'm super happy that you're safe. Yeah. And, um, and that you're I had a, good. I had a 
perfect okay. cushion. Okay. <laughs> Are so you how, okay? I'm totally good. <laughs> okay. How did you land? So we were up, you went straight in, and I saw you come in, so I tried to, I brought my feet together to catch some of your torso, and then naturally as a base, I would, I probably grabbed onto your hand. I know I did. And how did you land? Were you able to land on your hand? I don't know. But you landed safe. I did. I mean, I landed in, on you. Yeah. You landed on me. In my, yeah. yeah. Between your legs, which like, cushioned cushion cushion me. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also the mats help. Yeah. That's why I feel oftentimes it's hard to have someone spot things like this because there are so many ways it could go wrong. So. Um, it's important to have a spire with some experience. Like, I've seen that fall similar to that, but I didn't see exactly that fall before. I've seen it one similar coming up and down. So now we know very clearly how important it is to swing those legs over. Yeah. And why we always have mats, because mats are, are always their spotter. They're always going to be underneath us. So if I were to do that again with a spotter, um, with the fall, I definitely have a spot over here towards the head as I'm kicking over. Um, but even with the spotter, sometimes the legs are flailing and then the spotter can get kicked too. So even when you're spotting, you have to be really mindful of where the legs are going. So we get underneath the legs versus being kicked in the head, get under really low and support the head on this side. Again, let's go. You good? Yep. <laughs> okay, so now you've had experience of a fall, which could make your focus on like, oh damn, oh shit. We're gonna focus back on exactly where we wanna go. Point B, reverse curve and change, make the small adjustment that will help us get there, is the legs swinging over. It's all about those little adjustments, right? Okay. You're gonna be a, an awesome flyer because the more times you're able to fall safely like that, you, you'll build confidence. You're like, okay, I get this. I know what I can do. Here we go. Back bird, snaggy. And elbows in. Swing, then push if you remember, but the first thing is swing. Okay. Little pinch in the arms. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. Good. See that? Over swing is much better than the swing. Yeah. You land over here. Perfect. <laughs> swing. Let's go. Again. Beautiful. Good swing. Good work. Good work. Now it's the Good work. doing two things at once. Yeah. It's the multitasking. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. Yes! Good. Over swing is better. A few more times. And this one is so time sensitive, right? Between you and your base. Count it out. One, two, swing. On call, okay? Engage four. One, two, swing. That's how you rock it, Kirsten. Beautiful work. Beautiful work.